In the case of spinal tumors, um, often uh, if there's no significant spinal cord compression or nerve root compression, um, the patient can be treated with uh, radiosurgery or radiation, which we have available at Holy Cross Health. Um, so we often work in conjunction with the oncologist and the radiation oncologist to determine what is the best plan for the patient. But often, um, if the patient presents with neurologic symptoms, there is significant compression, and then we have to move forward to more aggressive surgical intervention. These metastatic lesions often don't go directly to the spinal cord or spinal nerve roots. They often go to the bones, and those are the things we're trying to address. And as the bones expand from the tumor, they then compress the neural structures, causing neurologic symptoms or deficit. When we're doing spinal surgery for metastatic lesions, what are our goals for surgery? Our goals for surgery are to decompress the neural structures, return neurologic function if possible, and then allow adjuvant therapies such as chemotherapy and radiation to do the work they can do on a smaller tumor volume. So we're actually debulking the tumor so there's less tumor to treat and decompressing the spinal cord, the spinal nerves, to help return function which may have been affected by the compression. When it comes to primary spinal tumors, which we really haven't talked about, but those are often benign tumors um, of the nerve roots and of the coverings of the spinal cord, really there's no prevention. That's something that if we see them, sometimes we monitor them if they're very small, um, but if they're symptomatic, we often can operate on them, and some of them can be done minimally invasive because they often present, present very small. The tumors are small. Um, and we have special techniques of uh, intraoperative ultrasound to identify uh, the tumor where it is along the spinal column, um, and we have other techniques of microsurgery that allow us to remove it using contact lasers and microsurgical instruments that allow us to remove these tumors and as a, as a, in the least invasive, least dangerous way possible. And those are a little bit different than metastatic lesions, which aren't in the spinal uh, cord or not in the spinal nerves, okay? Metastatic tumors are often in the bones. So the Holy Cross Health Spine Program is comprised of uh, neurosurgeons and orthopedic spine surgeons um, who have been trained uh, all over the country um, and all of whom bring their expertise to really make the program very robust. Both hospitals offer significant services for uh, spinal surgery. We have um, a minimally invasive uh, equipment at both hospitals. Uh, we are able to uh, perform minimally invasive surgery uh, as well as tumor resections. We have um, intraoperative imaging uh, uh, that allows us to do uh, rapid reconstruction of the patients. We, we have image guidance when available. Uh, these are all things that allow us to do the surgery quickly, efficiently, and safely.